What is up everybody, Hungry Cabion here. This video is brought to you by buyptcgocodes.com. They are sponsoring us. Um, they've also given me a nice little uh, promo code. So if I want to add these to my shopping cart, yes, I want 50 Darkness Ablaze packs, please. Oh, look at that, I already have 50 in there. And I've already applied my, uh, <laughs> my uh, coupon code, Cabion5, to get 5% off. So if you're interested in codes, please check them out and tell them I sent you. What is up everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. I got something kind of different today. I haven't opened one of these for a while. I've got a cube, a mystery cube. This is from a shop I've never bought one from before. Uh, it was 800 yen. Not too bad. Uh, it says that it's a rare cube, right? They had ones that were two or 300 yen that had like a GX or a V on each side and it said uh, like two or three hundred yen. They were the cheap ones. This one's a bit more expensive and it does say that we will get two SRs or higher in here, which will be interesting to see what they are. I'm assuming they're going to be not so good ones, but we'll see. I don't know if there's a chance to get something good. I also bought sleeves, finally. So, we have that. That's nice. It's been a while since I had some proper ones. Alright, so we'll get that open. Let's have a look at this, so they always put tape on there. That's like to show that you paid for it. I want to see what this actually says. Okay, so it says, it's got a rotom on there. It says, Pokeka no rare pa. So like rare is rare cards and pa. It's like Odipa is like a mystery pack. It's another way you can say it or a Kuji. So it's the rare pa. So I don't know if that means everything's going to be rare in here, or I, yeah, I, I don't really know. Let's open it up. I hate this, they make it hard to open. And I don't want to use scissors or anything, because we won't be able to get it open without destroying something. I wish they would make it easier. We just need to get in one side. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe this way is better. Ah man, they're really making it hard for me. Maybe we can... Uh, hold on. Okay, we kind of got a bit of it in here. I think we're okay. There we go. Alright, one corner. Should be, hopefully, easy to get into it now. So I'm guessing the front and the back is going to be the SR cards. They did have a bunch of them, but I just bought one because I just want to see what kind of thing we actually get in here. And then we'll we'll go from there. Maybe we'll get some more if they're good. Okay, we're in. So I'm guessing this card is going to be something. And then I'm guessing the back card is going to be something. I'm assuming. And then, ah, uh, here we go. We can see a bit better. There we go. Alright, so I'm hoping this is not just nothing. Because I, I don't need bulk. Thank you very much. I have enough of that. Let's see. There's a sword and shield. Some later sun and moon so far. Hope we at least get some like trainers or something in here. But I kind of am feeling like it's going to just be all commons. Oh no, here we go. Alright, that's good. Which I, I really don't need any more bulk. Thank you very much. Alright, we got a berry... If we get a few, like, half-decent trainers, that would be nice. I like this artwork. That is a sweet one. Those Kamiya ones. I, I really should, like, collect all the Kamiya ones in a binder. I really love it. I might have told you before, but, like, they have a bunch of, like, Kamiya-themed merchandise at the Pokemon Center at the moment. They have, like, some plush toys that are made in his style and stuff like that. It looks really cool. I kind of want to get it. But I don't need any, I, I don't know, I don't really need any of that kind of stuff, but I, I do like it though. I feel like it's just going to clog up my house, but we'll see, maybe. Alright, we're getting lots of um, just commons. Oh, here we go, we got a switch. That's something. Oh, we're getting a couple of trainers. Oops, goes there. These are from a deck. I think these are from the Tapu Coco deck. 
Oh, that Pikachu is pretty sweet. I like that, actually. Might keep that one separate. I do like that artwork. It's pretty cool. Another one. Alright, maybe we don't need that many. Sweet Delmise as well. Actually, like, the one good thing about getting all these commons and stuff is that, like, I actually have a kind of closer look at them. This is from a deck as well. This is a Arita artwork. Cramorant. Which looks sweet. It's like, reminds me of the, the old school base set Charizard, in a way. Not nearly as cool, but definitely has that kind of aesthetic to it. Okay, Dedene. Are we going to get anything? I don't even know if there's any hollows or anything in here. It's just looking like a lot of the same. I guess they want to pad it out, but... I was hoping that there would be like lots of hollows or something in here at least. Got the metal. Not so far. Ooh, Moomoo cheese. So yeah, there's nothing really so exciting in here, unfortunately. So it's just kind of padding out the, uh, the reveal of these two cards really, I guess. So, set SR and up and when they say it's a Olipar, that means like, is there some which are potentially better than others? I hope so. I like the idea to think that there's like a chance of getting something good in there. But I kind of have a feeling with these kind of things, it's like the mystery packs. Like, I feel like there's a high chance we're going to see something like Verizian or like, uh, what else is a common one? more while things like that well let's see anyway maybe we'll get surprised we'll get something good let's have a look okay we got roller skater i like that one i do have a couple of these but it is a nice artwork not a particularly good card to play but it is a nice looking one i feel like that's a popular one as well just from the the artwork on that it is very cool so we'll take that that's a nice one all right next one what are we talking here? Okay, eh. It's a bit of an older one. We got the, uh, what is it, the Dawn Wings Necrozma. i pretty sure I have this card, but maybe not actually. Uh, you know, I don't know if I do have this. Hmm, I'll have to consult the binder. So, I mean, it, it's kind of what I expected for the price, you know. I think for $8, it's very reasonable. It's just uh, a little bit unnecessary to have the filler, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But, you know, I guess they want to get rid of the, <laughs> the cards. But I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know if we do have that Necrozma or not, to be honest. I'm really not sure, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with that. We got a trainer, which is nice. We got a Pokemon, which is nice. I guess from the fact that it says SR, two SRs and up means like you could potentially get like a hyper rare or a gold card. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I like it. It's interesting. Like it's pretty good value. I kind of feel like if we get another one, we might get like the same, the same cards again. I don't know. What do you think? Like I don't go to this place like that often, but if they have it again, eh, maybe, maybe I'll buy another one. Let me know what you think. Uh, but anyway, that's it for now guys. Check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.